Hi, I'm PJ from TreeLineUSA.com. Today I want to demonstrate for you how to set up and how to maintain your NSK Presto tool. The NSK Presto is the best tool in the market for doing intricate carving, engraving, where fine details are, are required in your project. But it is important to maintain your tool. So let me show you how to get it set up and how to maintain it. The NSK Presto tool is incredible for doing fine detail work. Let me show you how to get it set up and also how to maintain it. So the first thing you want to do is connect the hose to the back side right here and then also the hose to the regulator right back in here. And then set the pressure so that it's at 35 PSI running time or running pressure. So you turn this on, you can pull this up and then twist it back and forth and to make sure you get your 35 PSI. Once you get that, set it and leave it. Um, the most common question we get is how to take the bits out because usually it comes with like a dummy burr in place. And so to get the bits and burrs out, take the center collar, turn it until it feels a little bit stiff and then turn it just a little bit more and you'll feel it click and you'll feel that bit release. And then to put it back in, you take your push block right here with that hole right there in the center and put the head of the bit in there and just push straight in and you'll feel it lock in place. You wanna feel that click if it's not clicked in there, that bit will still be loose and it will fly out of there once you turn it on. If you had a, a larger bit, um, a bit with a larger head diameter, you can just push that in and then just push it straight down against a piece of wood or the table or something like that and that'll lock it in place. But um, this push block is nice for smaller headed bits so that you don't damage or break the very tip of the bit as you're putting it in. And so you just take that and push it in. So again, to take the bits in and out, turn that until it feels stiff and turn it just a little bit more and you'll feel that click. So now that you know how to, how, um, oh, your kit too will come with a couple of these uh, little clips and those clips are designed to kind of run your hose in, in, a, in a pattern that you need to in, for your work area. So some people use those and some don't, but that's what they're there for. We tell people there's three rules when you're using the Presto tool. If you keep these three rules, your Presto will last you a long time. Number one, keep it at 35 PSI. Some people try to turn it up uh, faster than that, and it's just not rated for that pressure, and you can do damage to the, to the cartridge. The second rule is never put any oil into it. Sometimes people think by putting a little bit of oil into it, either here or in the line, that it will lubricate it and, and make it better, but it actually creates a dust magnet. So dust and gunk and debris will kind of build up in that turbine and damage the bearings and wear out the handpiece much, much faster. The third rule is to clean the collet out about every 40 hours of use. So let me show you how that's done because sometimes as you're taking bits in and out there, you can start to score the inside of that collet. So by cleaning it out, it just keeps that um, so that it holds onto the bit uh, much, much longer and much more secure. So the first thing we did was we, uh, we used the open end wrench and, and take the end of the, the cartridge out, hold on to the black fan right here. Oh, notice too that right down inside there's that black o-ring. Sometimes that black o-ring will come out with that bearing. So just be aware of that and make sure that goes in the same place. If it does come out the bearing, just line it up on that bearing when you're putting it back in. But a hold on to that fan, take your square end wrench, and go over the end of that, what's called the chuck nut, and loosen that up. Once you kind of get it loose, you can typically take it off by hand. Um, these next couple parts are pretty small. So if you have like a rag or something like that put underneath you in case they drop them, then they'll, they'll bounce and, and not run away from you. So you have the chuck nut right here. And then notice this part right here sticking out. If we take this and push it against the, the table, that releases the collet. And so the bit and what's called the guide bush come out. I don't know if you can tell in that guide bush, it has that little ridge right on top. And just remember that as you're putting it back in. I'll put a bit in place as I'm doing this because that allows me to take this out and it helps me to line things back up a little bit easier. Then take the back of this and push in the center and that will release the collet. And that's what you want to clean. So you take that, that collet and rub it with like uh, rubbing alcohol or something that's not oily or a metal cleaner that's not oily and clean that up really good. And then when that's good and clean, we just go back and assemble it by putting the collet in first. I've got that chuck nut, excuse me, the guide bush around my bit. So I can take that and push that in place and then use the, uh, and put the, the chuck nut back in there. I first line it up and just do everything by hand. And 
and then just go snug tight with the end of that chuck nut. You don't, don't want to over torque that, um, but you just want to make that snug tight. And that's it. We just line it up and put it back into the hand piece. So you want to do that about every 40 hours of use. And if you do that, again, that'll just allow the, the bit, the, the tool, um, the cartridge to last much longer. And so with that, then we're ready to, to flip the switch and, and do some carving. I hope that's helpful to show you how to both set up and maintain your NSK Presto carving tool. Um, we at TreelineUSA.com carry a lot of different books, patterns, stencil film, which is like transfer paper, different bits and burrs available for it. So visit us there to pick up some of your supplies. And if you like this video, please click subscribe to YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.